Hey everyone, Average Joe here. I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on, on how to install Spectra version 1.1.7 to Kerbal Space Program version 1.4.5. Now, uh, this should work with every single version after this, and uh, we're just going to start with making a brand new version of Kerbal Space Program on my desktop. Now, you can grab it from wherever it is that you bought it. You can install it to Steam as well if you want to, but I got it from the original store way back in the day, so I'm going to go and grab it again. And once you have a new vanilla version of it on your desktop, you can continue. Alright, so here we go. I have a folder on my desktop with Kerbal Space Program version 1.4.5. Uh, one thing that's actually really nice to do, which I'll just show you how to do right now, is make a borderless window shortcut. Uh, I do this personally because I stream a lot and it's really helpful. Same if you want to browse a lot of Imgur or other things during loading screens. So I'm just going to create a shortcut, put that on my desktop. Gonna rename this to what's up there, KSP version 4.5. And nice and simple, just go in here to the target, right after the, um, the quotation marks, do space dash pop up window. Apply. And what that does is whenever you launch the game, it launches a borderless window. Now, I'm gonna leave this open in the corner right here, and now we are going to grab Spectra. Let's go and grab that. KSP. Spectra. I'm going to go to the space dock link over here. They both go to the same place, the forum link in here. Now you can see this is uh, for version 1.4.1 of KSP. That doesn't matter. It's pretty rare that you're going to have to re-download Spectra because I don't think there's much I'm going to be adding after this. It's pretty much where I want it to be. So let's just go and download this. Uh, I'm going to put all these to my desktop. Uh, and once you have it on your desktop, uh, you can unpause the video and continue. Alright, so here we are, Spectre version 1.1.7 on my desktop. I'm going to open this up, and I'm literally just going to follow the instructions that we have right here. There are four steps to it, and the fourth one isn't even really needed. It's just nice and looks pretty. So, step one is you install all of these dependencies. I'm just going to go into that folder. There is five of them. Environmental Visual Enhancements, Copernicus, Module Manager, Scatterer, and Texture Replacer Replaced. Module Manager is actually wrapped into Copernicus as well, but... We're going to get both of them, uh, just to be safe. And you can see it has what each of the mods does next to it. Um, so if you don't want any of those features, you don't have to download the mod. But I'm going to grab all of them. So here we are. I'm just going to click on all these and open them. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Hit download on all of these. Scroll down for module manager. Download scatterer and texture replacer replaced. All right, it might not like the .dll file. It's totally fine, don't worry about it. Um, all right, so here we are with all five of those. I'm going to move them onto my desktop, and once again, you can unpause the video when you are ready. All right, so here we are with our five mods over there from step number one. We have our KSP directory down here, and in the top left, we have our Spectra download folder. So now that we have all these, we're just going to install them into our game data folder. So let's go into game data. And in game data, you can see we have just the two folders here. We have squad and squad expansion. Um, those are the two folders that come with it normally if you have the expansion installed. All right, so let's just grab all these and one at a time, put them in. Drag that. Drag that. And look, you can see Module Manager comes in this one. Um, you don't really need to. I usually don't actually copy it over. Um, it's the same version, but just to be safe, I download it separately. Texture Replace Replaced. Scatterer. And you actually don't even need Scatterer. If it's too much of a resource hog, you can uninstall it. I usually run without it, actually. And then Module Manager. Just gonna put that there. All right, these windows might look kind of scary, so I'm just going to close them all. And here we are, game data. We have all of our dependent mods over here, all five of them. Uh, and then uh, we're just going to go on to step number two, Spectra. What you're going to do is copy the folders from game data right into there. So just like before, you just copy these, drag them in. And 
And also you'll see right here, text replace replaces having an issue with copying over. That's totally fine. Uh, this is, there's only one instance and it is the texture on the main menu because uh, text replace replaced comes with its own and specs replaces it. All right. So now that we have those in there, step number three, terrain. Now for this, you're going to have to install KSP or C uh, one folder from KSPRC. You don't actually install the mod, you just need to grab one folder. Uh, and you see this where it says must read? You must read this. Let's open that up. <laughs> you can see it. Download KSPRC. Do not install it though. And after it is done, you grab the terrain folder from KSPRC. Grab the terrain folder from KSPRC. So let's go and grab that. You want to use the links that I have in the Spectra download. Use those links. Do not grab them from elsewhere because sometimes it messes up with file paths. Let's go and download that. And then once again, once it's on your desktop, we can continue. All right, so you can see I just grabbed KSPRC from here and we are going to open it up following these instructions. Open it up, go into KSPRC, take this terrain folder, copy it, go into your game data, and then paste it right here. You're basically moving it from the KSPRC folder in the, the, the download for, for the KSPRC to the one that's already in uh, your directory from the previous step. So you just paste it there, and you're done. That's it. Okay, so here we are, and you can see Module Manager applied a couple of patches, uh, and here we are. If it has everything right on the main menu, it should be installed perfectly fine. It'll have a new logo over here, it will have a different background, and we will have uh, a new Kerbin. So here we are. So you can actually kind of see little hints of each mod. Text replace or replace with the, uh, with the skybox. Um, we have Copernicus with how Kerbin looks. We have Eve with, uh, with the clouds and with the aurora. All right, and as you can see, this is the version that I have. This is what a uh, Spectre looks like when you don't have Scatter installed. There'll be an extra haze over Carbon that you can see at the main menu. I'm just going to load in and see what uh, what the game looks like um, when uh, you don't have Scatter installed. So first off, it's not nearly as hazy. And second off, if I go to uh, our craft and just go to the map view from viewing it, you can also see... Uh, there are custom atmospheres on each of the planets. There's no sun flare anymore, or at least not nearly as pretty. It's the stock one. Uh, Moho looks exactly the same. Nothing changes with Moho. Eve has a different um, atmosphere config that enables when, when it doesn't find Scatterer. But yeah, it still has this lightning, still has everything, just doesn't have the nice um, edge um, sunset at the uh, Terminator. Um, but yeah. It, uh, all it does is it makes the um, planets that have um, that have an atmosphere with uh, with scatterer. It just adds different configs to them. It's almost nostalgic because it looks an awful lot like older versions of Kerbal, old, old, ancient uh, cloud mods. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, that is it. Thank you so much for watching my video, and uh, I hope this is helpful for some of you guys that are having some troubles. Until next time, average Joe out.